Good morning. I'm Tony Paraka, Field Applications Engineer with Kodo Technology. Today I want to introduce you to a new line of magnetic sensors based on tunneling magneto resistance from Kodo Technology. These sensors bring significant advantage to product design. The third type of digital sensor is a bipolar latching output digital sensor. This is a little different from the unipolar and the omnipolar sensor. In this case, the output holds its state, digital state, whether it's high or low, even after the magnet's taken away, as long as power is maintained. Let's look at the output characteristics on the whiteboard, and then we'll see how it works with the part on the demo board as well. This chart represents the output of Kodo Technologies bipolar digital latch output sensor such as the RR121-3XXX representing different variants. On this chart, the vertical axis is voltage output and the horizontal axis is magnetic field strength. On the right side, increasing north pole field strength and on the left side, increasing south pole field strength. The green lines here is the output from the sensor itself as a function of increasing magnetic field strength. What we see here straight away is at zero magnetic field strength, representing when the magnet is far away, the output of the sensor could be either a digital high, which is an off state, or a digital low, which is an on state. What that means is the sensor could have one of two output conditions depending on what the previous state of the magnet position was. Let's follow that along these lines here. Let's assume it's a north pole of the magnet approaching the sensor. As the field strength increases from zero to increasing north pole field, at the point BOP, or the operate field for the sensor, the output of the sensor switches from off state or a digital high to an on state, which is a digital low. As the magnet approaches even further, increasing the magnetic field strength further, the output remains at a digital low. When the magnet it moves away and the north pole field strength decreases, the output profile follows this line until the magnet is very far away and the field strength is zero. At that time, the output remains at a digital low condition. What that means is once the field is tripped, or, or once the output is tripped to an on state and the magnet is taken away, the output remains in the on state. We say the output has latched. And that's the reason the output is called a latching bipolar output. Now let's assume it's a south pole approaching the sensor, and the south pole field strength increases. At a point BRP, or the release point, the output changes from an active state or an on state, which is digital low, to an off state, which is digital high. As the magnet approaches even closer, increasing the south pole field strength, the output continues to remain in the high state. Now as the magnet is taken away, or as the south pole of the magnet is taken away, we follow this line back in this direction, and when the south pole is far away, the magnetic field strength is zero, the output now still remains in the off state or the digital high state. We say the output once again has latched in the high state. So the output of this sensor switches between BOP, which is on the north pole side, and BRP, which is on the south pole side. The hysteresis in this case is therefore two times, or the difference between BOP and BRP. This results in a very robust switching of the sensor, making it very insensitive to jitter in the magnet position. These type of sensors therefore find ready application in rotating machines, where the magnet always follows a north pole with a south pole. Therefore, the output of the sensor alternately switches from off to on and on to off as the magnetic poles follow each other. This is very advantageous for a rotating machine because the output frequency of the sensor's output is directly related to the rotation frequency of the shaft for an application where it's just a two-pole magnet on the shaft. 
if we have multiple poles on the magnet around the shaft, then the output frequency increases in relation uh, to the number of poles. Let's take a look at this sensor with the demo board and we'll see how that operates, how the output changes as the magnet rotates or approaches and recedes from the sensor. Because of the latching nature of the output from a bipolar sensor, it is ideal for systems with rotating magnets. In this case, for demonstration, I have a magnet where the silver side is a north pole and the black side is a south pole. When the north pole is presented to the sensor, it turns on. As the magnet rotates and the south pole is presented, it turns off, and so on. Therefore, the output frequency of the sensor is the same as the rotation frequency of the magnet. For more information on these sensors, please visit our website, www.kotorelay.com. You can download data sheets, application notes, and more information about these sensors. When you're ready to do your product design around these sensors, and you're faced with questions about how to optimize the use of sensors, how to select the right magnets, please reach out to us. We are more than happy to work with you. Please send us an email at appsupport at kotorelay.com. We'll respond to you straight away and help you along your way. Thanks so much.